I'm doing another game demo super late. It is 1.19 in the morning. Uh, I'm trying to get some demos done for Coolicon because Coolicon is awesome and they totally deserve game demos. So I was going to do a really quick demo of Ravine. It is a really fun game, three to six players. Oh boy, three to six players. All right. So I've been doing the game demos by myself with imaginary players. So doing three hands might be kind of tricky, but we're going to give it our best bet. So uh, Ravine is a crafty and cooperative card, ga card game. Take the cover off. We have here a lovely little introduction on how to play it. We have overview set up, brown cycle, day, uh, forage, and craft card types, night madness, and winning. Well, why don't we go straight to winning here? We have winning. Your stay in ravine will end in one of two ways. If your entire party perishes before the rescue card is turned over, your doomed trip in the wilderness fades into history. Perhaps a search party will one day find your remains and shudder at what horrors befell your group. Two, if at least one of your party can survive until the rescue card is found, congratulations, you've survived to be rescued from Ravine. The battered survivors can return to society fielding lucrative offers for book deals made for TV movies and tabletop game adaptions of your harrowing experience. Not inaccurate for this game. This game is crazy. So, we'll start out, I believe... Oh, they also have a how-to video to play uh, Ravine at playravine.com slash how-to. Uh, they, they'll do a really good job of that, too. We're going to do this anyway because it's fun and Coolicon. Yeah, there we go. All right. You awake in an unfamiliar forest amidst the wreckage of a horrific plane crash. Your goal is simple. Collaborate with those around you to survive until you are rescued. Set up. Separate the cards into their respective decks and shuffle them. Place the Forage and Madness decks face down in the middle of the group. Deal one Wreckage and one Crafting Guide card to each player face up, then set the rest aside. Craft cards can be left in the box until needed. Choose the number of knights your group will attempt to survive. See difficulty and place that number of knight cards face down in a pile in the center of the group. Find and shuffle the rescue card. It's disgui disguised as a night card into the last three night cards on the bottom. Difficulty is controlled by the number of night cards you decide to play with. Follow re recommendations below as a guide. Beginner is eight nights. Normal is twelve nights. Difficult is sixteen. Well, sixteen plus nights. Place the fire token in the center of the group, face down. This means the fire is out. Give each player six heart tokens. Players should place three tokens heart side up in front of them, then take the remaining three heart tokens, sh tokens, shake them like dice, and cast them onto the table. This roll determines each player's starting health after the crash. A player's token should be direct placed, in direct placed visibly in front of them at all times. This is very important. So we'll start out by doing myself and my two imaginary friends. Here's the fire. It's it's actually really little string. Here's the fire token. It's actually really cool. Pretty well made. These tokens are nice and thick. This shows the fire is out. This shows the fire is lit. Pretty cool, huh? So it starts off face down. There. We each get three face up tokens. So we'll do invisible person there. Visible person here. And we'll do me. Oh, can't be too close to the other invisible. Oh, you can't even see the first invisible person's tokens. Such a tiny table. Alright. Yeah, that'll work. And then you shake these like dice. Ooh, they start out with six hearts. That's pretty cool. That, like, never happens. I wonder how many hearts I'm going to get. Person has one extra heart. 
then me. Oh, these little X's in here means the heart can be filled by something else, by food or whatever. Uh, if you lose all your hearts, you're dead. Uh, if you go down to one heart, you can go mad. Uh, yeah, it's, this is, oh gosh, only one heart, one extra heart for me. That plane crash sure took it out of me. Well, us, I guess. Except for this fellow, he must have been braced or something. Alright, let's see here. Alright. So round cycle. Start here, knight. Draw a knight card. Play as instructed. Cycle to Oh. Oh gosh, you didn't do this very good. Alright. We'll, we'll start with what I said before. Health. Health check. Anyone with one heart remaining must draw a madness card. Play a card as instructed. That makes life really interesting. And you'll see why in a second. The day. Decide to rest up at camp or forage. If foraging, put cards over, then draw cards. So if you forage for one, one forage card is one heart. Until you get items that help you forage. So if you, so like, it probably wouldn't re be recommended for me to forage three, three times. Because that would leave me with one heart and I'd have to draw a madness card and then craziness ensues. Next up is prepare. Eat and craft supplies with your team to prepare for what the knight may bring. Uh, draw a knight card. Play as instructed. Let's see here. Day. Players hunt for food and supplies by foraging. After returning to camp, players can choose to eat any food they found and use supplies they've gathered to craft items to help prepare them against the perils of the night. Foraging. Each player can forage once per day, and everyone does this at the same time. To forage, each player can flip over a full heart and return for a single forage card. Example, two hearts equals two forage cards. We already went over that, but that's okay. Maximum of three hearts per player can be turned over at once. You may gather an extra forage card if you have a basket. See crafting. Wait until all players have returned to camp to flip over your new cards. You may share what you found or keep it to yourself. Alternatively, players can rest, although this, do, although this doesn't increase their health. You may forage on your final heart, but if you don't discover food, you die. Bad news bear. After foraging, players can ha decide individually or as a team how to use what they've collected. Cards can be used, shared, traded, or saved for later. All forage cards are discarded after one use. So let's see. Forage and craft card types. Food. Players may eat food to regain health. The number of hearts on the bottom of the card denotes how much health is regained by eating it. Food, food worth two hearts or more can be divided between players. Uh, in the, for example, food cards worth two hearts. Each two hearts can give two players one heart each. Food cannot be di eaten during an event or during the night to preempt the effects. In other words, eating a handful of blackberries while being mauled by a cougar won't save your life or keep you from going crazy immediately after. Uh-oh, Ravine is a mysterious and sinister place, full of danger and peril. As you forage, you may uncover mushrooms, encounter animals, and discover other mysterious things. The actions on these cards occur immediately. You can protect yourself from them, but you must have the protective gear item in your hand as it occurs. Other players cannot help you. Bone Pile. Find, bone, bone pile, find four Bone Pile cards and assemble them into a bone circle to unlock the powers of the island. Once assembled, you may bring one dead player back to life, if there is one. They start with three hearts. All living players also gain two hearts. Crafting. Wood, fiber, and stone can be used to craft useful items for survival. When an item is crafted, you may take that item's card from the box. If an item is single use, it must be discarded after it's used. Fire. One wood. Repels animals and provides warmth and comfort. Fire lasts only through the night and goes out in the morning of the next day before foraging begins. Uh, it should be noted that some night cards prevent fire from being lit until the following day. Spear. One wood plus one stone. Fends off one animal or human attack. Protects a single player. Breaks after one use. Basket. 
One wood plus two fiber allows a single player to draw one additional forage card each day. A player must, must forage, flip one heart to use a basket. Shelter, two wood plus two stone plus two fiber. Protects up to three players for most weather events and lasts indefinitely until de unless destroyed. When a shelter has been built before night begins, each player who chooses to be in the shelter must put a finger on the shelter card to show who is protected. Cool beans? Each, oh right. Yeah, 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 okay. Each night in Ravine holds new danger for the players. After foraging and crafting are complete, begin the night by turning over a night card and read the card to the group. The effects of the night are felt by any players without the ability to protect themselves. Players with the appropriate crafted items or wreckage cards can use these items to defend themselves or others, if allowed, against the dangers of the night. If a player's hearts ever drop to zero, they are dead. The remaining forage and wreckage cards are placed by the player to be shared by the remaining players however they see fit. After the events of the night card are complete, everyone's health must be, must be checked to see if anyone must draw a madness card. If, okay, madness. If a player's health drops to one heart at the end of the night, health check, they must draw a madness card. Read the instructions on the card yourself, place the card on the table, and then follow the instructions. Some madness, madness effects only last the night, others persist until the player regains health, and some last until death or rescue. Be sure to read the recovery section of the madness card to understand the implications. If a player drops to one, one heart at any point during the health check, due to the, like, for example, due to the effect of another player's madness, they must also draw a madness card. After the chaos of any mad, madness, dawn breaks and day begins. It should be noted that if one, if a madness player, if madness event includes, I'm having a hard time talking. All right, if madness event involves one player attacking another player, the victim can use a weapon if they have one to defend themselves. The person hit with the weapon loses one heart. All right, and we already went through winning. Yeah, so that's that's ravine. So, oh. See here, here's here's night cards. Here's the rescue card. Oh, where? So that's pretty cool. Matches the rest of the night cards. Oh, I want to keep that flipped over. Okay. So let's see here. These are all the craftable items. We have baskets, spears, and shelter. These are craft items, and, well, just items in general. So we have stone and dandelion, it gives you a heart. Wood, wood, stone, a wild onion, also gives you a heart. Trout, wow, look at that, three hearts. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So there's... It's a big old stack of item cards, so you're never really sure what you're going to get. So you look at all those. Plus, I've got right here. I'll have to shuffle these together. I don't know why these aren't sleeved. We usually sleeve all our games um, just because it increases their longevity, you know. So I highly recommend sleeving games. Put those items to the side. Here's a crafting guide. I only need one because the other players are invisible. Crafting guide. What's this one? These are the madness cards. And we're just going to shuffle those real quick. Shuffle the madness cards real quick. Set them next to the item cards. These tell you who you are when you crash landed and you may get an item from uh yeah you may get an item from the plane that you crash landed in so we'll do this player first they are Rankin D found item adrenaline syringe effect completely restores hearts for one player when used single use so we're just gonna Oh goodness. Move those. I don't know what it says. 
they can get their hurts back. It's awesome. And then this card over here. I think I still need to shuffle these. So the reason they give you such a large uh, deck for knights is because it randomizes the cards you can get and it makes the game, it gives the game more replayability. It's pretty cool. So. We're going to call that good. That's resource rescue card. All right, we're going to complete. Brady R. Found item, plane shrapnel. Effect. Protects one player from one animal or human attack. Use. One use. Let's see what I get. Horton K. Found item, airline blanket. Protects one player from one weather event. Single use. So these two can be shared. I believe this one... Ooh, that one can be shared too. But it only restores one player's hearts. So... So that's pretty cool. Put this in the pile. We'll just tuck these back into the box because we don't need them. Now here comes the fun part. We're only going to do eight. Because uh, otherwise this game might take a little while. So supposedly that's easy. Uh, we have had some difficulty beating this game before when I played it with my husband and friends. It's been a while because of uh, the current situation in the world, but this will do. Imaginary. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This can go to the side because we don't need them. One, two, three. This goes in randomly. I know you people can probably keep track of this. I am way too tired to keep track of this. So I have no idea where it went. It goes on the bottom. One of those is the rescue card, uh, which means whoever is still alive wins. Um, Alright, so let's take a look here. I think we start with night first. Round cycle. Start here, night. Draw a night card, play as instructed. So when we crash land, it's night, we get a night card. Giant squirrel. Beady red eyes and a sharp or and sharp orange teeth, it's drawn to the smell of starving humans. All players lose one forage card. Okay, we don't have any forage cards, so this giant squirrel is just out of luck. Discard that. Alright, um, next up is the day. Uh, we do a health check. Anyone with one heart must draw a madness card. We're all good so far. We're as good as we can be, considering we were an airplane crash. And we can decide to either rest at camp or forage. If foraging, flip hearts over, then draw cards. So the most hearts we can draw, or the most hearts we can flip over are three at a time. And I think this healthy guy over here is going to flip over two. And he'll forage two. So you got five. Oh, you can't really see, can you? All right, well, we'll flip these over so you can see. He got a wild plum. And a fiber. Ta da! So you can get some hearts back. Uh, this person is going to flip over one heart. I'm going to take their forage card. They also got a wild plum. Very nice. I will flip one heart over. We'll see what I get. I got a recently deceased squirrel for two hearts. Alright, so I think what we're all going to do is we're going to eat. They're going to eat their wild plums, and I'm going to eat my poor squirrel. Um, so these all go in the discard. We all get two hearts back. Come on, fire. Here we go. Uh, two hearts. Well, we're not doing too bad yet. If we win this fake game, I'm going to laugh. Alright, so next up, I believe... 
prepare, eat, eat and craft supplies with your team to prepare for what the night may bring. All right, we did that. Now it's nighttime. The flood, distant rainstorms send their waters roaring through camp. All collected forage cards are lost. Any shelter is destroyed. No fire tomorrow night. So we can't do any fire. This goes in the discard. That is luckily the only forage thing we had so far. Uh, I don't believe you have a limit on how much items you can store and keep foraged, so we didn't lose out on too much. Um, next up, so that, that happened. We can't have a fire uh, tomorrow. Let's see. I believe we can do our daytime stuff now. None of us are down to one heart, so we don't have to draw a madness card. This fellow over here is going to flip over two hearts again and forge two cards. Wild pear snap, another fiber, part, yeah, wild pear snap, and a fiber. They are also going to flip over two hearts. We're getting ballsy. Alright, a fiber, and pine nuts. And I'm also going to flip over two hearts. Fiber, squirrel again. Oh my gosh, I'm just not lucking out with these squirrels. All right, I like squirrels a lot. They're really cute and fuzzy. Um, yeah, anyway, so now we prepare. So they're going to eat their wild parsnip, get a heart back. They are going to eat their pine nuts. They're going to get two hearts back. And I'm going to eat my poor squirrel, get two hearts back. All right. Wow, we're all at five hearts. That's not too bad. All right, so now it's nighttime again. We each have a fiber. Um, fortunately, we can't do anything with just fiber. If we had one wood, we could create a basket and it would increase carrying capacity. So anytime, so whoever's holding the basket could forage for one extra item. So all right, well it's nighttime now. So the raccoons. You wake to feel tiny rodent hands rummaging angrily through your pockets. Uh, give up one food cart or lose one heart. Fire cancels this event. Well, let's see here. They are going to use their plane shrapnel. It protects one player from an animal or human attack. So I can go to the discard pile. Uh, give up one food or lose one heart. Well, they don't. We don't have any food left because we all ate it. So that means. I lose a heart. They they use their weapon here, plain shrapnel, and they lose a heart. Oh man, those raccoons. Cute but deadly. Alright. Next up, it's daytime again. We can light a fire now um, if we get wood. Um, I think we're going to forage. So this, this gentleman over here is just going to forage one. More fiber. Woohoo, go us. This... This invisible player is going to forage two fiber stone. Okay, no food. This could be bad. I'm going to forage one wood. Yay! Let's see here. What do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five fibers, which we don't. But I have a wood, so I'm going to discard that and light a fire. So yeah, we have, oh, we have a lot of stuff. Okay. So let's see here. They can regenerate all their hearts using their, oh, we're going to wait. All right. So now we prepare for the night. I lit a fire in preparation for the night. Um, nighttime. The weasels, you awake just in time to see several furry thieves scurry into the underbrush. All players lose one forage card. Um, okay, well this is the only forage card I have. We're going to say they lose a fiber. Let's say they lose a fiber. So now we have two fiber left. But we didn't lose any hearts, so that's good. Alright, next up. Daytime. Uh, none of us are down to one heart. So we don't have to draw a madness card. I think we're all going to have to forage because we need some hearts. 
I need to go down to two hearts. Wood. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and this one out. Bone pile. Great. That means if one of us dies, we'll have a uh, wood. All right. Well, I'm gonna light a fire again in preparation for tonight. Um. This if if this bone pile, if one of us dies and we have all four bone pile cards, um. That means we can resuscitate a player. And all the other surviving players get two hearts back. We didn't get any food though, so we are kind of in trouble. Alright. So, um, let's see here. I think this player is going to use their card that says, uh, Adrenaline Syringe, completely restore hearts for one player when used. So that's what they're going to do tonight. So they're going to go back up to six, and they have a fiber and a wood over there. Uh, this player has a fiber, a stone, and a bone pile, and I don't have anything. I lit a fire, so that was my wood that I used. Let's see here. Now we're going to... We did our foraging. Now it's nighttime. Okay. The wolves. They came to welcome you to the neighborhood, but they're not leaving without dinner. Uh, all players lose two hearts. Fire re reduces the effect by one. So we have a fire, which means this player loses one heart, this player loses one heart, and I lose one heart. Oh, let's see here. So, so now that's nighttime. This goes out because it's day. Now we're going to do a health check. Anyone with one heart remaining must draw a madness card. Play as instructed. We're going to play these facing up so you know what they do. This one says, hold me closer. You don't want to be, you don't want to be alone tonight. Hug another player. Don't let them go. Recovery. Regain at least one heart. If you leave the hug before, lose one heart. If there's no one to hug, lose one heart. Okay, so yeah. So in the in like a in a real person game, you would go hug another player and not let go. And if you didn't let go, you would regain one of your hearts. Got it? All right, got it. All right, so now I have to draw a this card. Sabotage. This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. In fact, steal up to three cards from amongst the group, then discard them. Recovery. Among completion of task. Oh, man. I have to steal three cards? Well, that's pretty easy. They're imaginary players, so they're not going to argue. Um, let's see here. Yeah, and then discard them. All right. Well, we're going to pretend that this player... Uh, hugged another player and gained a heart. So, put that in the discard. I don't know if this gets discarded or not. It doesn't say so, so we'll leave it here. And then I'm going to grab three cards from amongst the group. So I'm going to grab their th those two and a fiber. Who needs all this fiber anyway? And, uh, yeah. So they are left with a bone pile. And anyway, this gets discarded on completion of my task. Um, they are still hugging a person or persons of their choice. Um, yeah, all right. So I have one heart. Uh, next up is day. I'm gonna have to rest. I don't have any hearts to forage. I could use my last heart to forage, but that's not generally a good idea. So we're gonna let this person forage for two. Oh, they got a grub. And a wasp nest. An agonizing discovery of a wasp nest. So they lose a heart. We'll just do that right off the bat. And then they're going to gain a heart because they found a grub. This person is not... They're also going to rest. And I... Yeah, like I said, I'm going to rest. So we have enough wood for a fire. Which we will do in case we get attacked by something that is affected by fire. Alright, next up. The mountain. 
A massive wave of rocks, mud, and debris storms down the mountain and into camp. Uninvited, no less. All players lose two hearts. Any shelter is destroyed. Fire did not stop that. So guess what? I'm dead. I, I only have one heart to lose. So and this player is also dead. And this one has got one heart left. Like three or four cards left. All right, we're going to hope that they make it. Because if they make it, they'll get a book deal. All right, so the fire goes out. Um, let's see here. And then they're, they can't forage, so they can't regain any hearts. They already used their magic potion. So we'll say nighttime. The score. Um, you stumble upon a mangled beverage cart from the crash, and it's full of tiny bottles of alcohol. All players recover one heart. Fire boosts this effect by one. Alright, so they gain a heart. Nice. All right, so now they're at two hearts. Um, they think their odds look pretty good. So they're like, yeah, I can make it. So they're not going to forge. They don't want to get madness again. Um, they got the bone pile. Put that right there. All right, let's try this. This card right here. Rain. Uh, damp, cold, and starving. Unsheltered players who lose one heart, no fire tomorrow night. Guess what? Since I died, they get to use my airline blanket. Protects one player from a weather event. I'm going to discard. This will go on the discard. They stay with two hearts. This last card is the rescue card, so they actually won. Um, as you can see, it's kind of random. Uh, great game. Highly recommend playing it. Um, as it is with most games I have in my collection. Um, yeah, I should, I need to try some new games too. I think that would be super fun. Yeah, but anyway, you guys have a great night. Uh, thanks for staying up so late with me while I did YouTube videos and uh, videos for CoolyCon. If you want to join CoolyCon, you can go to CoolyCon.com. There's a link to the Discord server on there, which has like a whole bunch of great stuff. There's vendors, uh, there's games. People are running games on tabletop, tabletop, topia, tabletopia. I think. Yeah. Anyway, it's cool, cool game thing, and uh, yeah. So it should be awesome. Um, yeah. Join. Have a great night.